Hi guys, Matthew from uh, Warrior Pilgrim here. Doing a simple video here to explain something I picked up from a video about a certain comedian, Ramesh Ranganathan. He's not my favourite comedian by any stretch of the imagination, but he's a decent chap. And it's funny in his own right. One time, he used his own faith, the uh, Hindu faith, and also Christianity, as many comedians often do, to make a very funny routine about respect at this time of year, the Christmas. He said that Christmas was a time of year where you could be incredibly racist, or make people seem racist. He uses the example of people wishing him Merry Christmas, and him saying, what makes you think I celebrate Christmas? Or then saying, Mary, oh, and what is it you celebrate? And he's like, what makes you think I don't celebrate Christmas? Or even when giving out Christmas cards, he gives, he gives one son, Merry Christmas, notice you didn't give me a Christmas, notice you didn't give me a card for Diwali. Very amusing, and actually rather appropriate, because Christmas is not the only celebration that happens at the time of year. The Scottish tend to focus more on the New Year, which is Hogmanay. But many people will say Christmas is based on Saturnalia, which is more or less true. It is based saying the festival started off round about Saturnalia. But Christmas was being celebrated beforehand as well. Certainly long before it was taken up by the Romans. But there's also other festivals. Diwali the Hindu festival of light, Hanukkah, the, what I think was the candlelight festival of the Jews, which I think a fairly minor thing in their calendar, and of course Yule for the European pagans. So all these things happen at this time of year. It's all too easy for you to think, hang on, what do you believe and should I use the appropriate salutation? Should I be saying Happy Diwali, Happy Hanukkah, Yulteg, Happy Saturnalia, Merry Christmas, all that sort of thing? Or Happy Hogmanay? I think we should just use whatever happens to go easier for us. Because after all, there's a greeting. There's the wishes, good will to all men. That is the main spirit of Christmas. That's what Christ came here to do. Spread good will amongst all men. A book that I recently read in the Tide, the Tide Chronicle, the Tide Caller Chronicles, that was it, yeah. They they had a series of diverse cultures. Some of them focus on stories, some of them focus on a deity known as the mother, some focus on ocean spirits and stuff like that. The, the characters sent off some other characters on some loose adventure. I don't remember the details of it. But what they did, rather interestingly, was use their own salutations of respect and prayers to their deities to send them on their way. May you Jay take them up. May may they return to Jaya. May the mother watch over them and may the stories carry their name. All that sort of thing. It's an amazing thing and I find it rather powerful. I'm just trying to be a bit annoying that I can't get the uh, next audio book yet. And it's those sort of salutations that I remember most of all around the time of people's deaths. As a Christian myself, I would nearly always say, God rest them. Because that's what I believe. If people are on the verge of death, I say, may God grant them easeful passing. So they don't die in pain. Or, if they have just died, I say, may God, may God grant them 
blessed rest. Because that's what they deserve more than anything else. But other, other cultures have their own salutations. For example, anyone that speaks of the Prophet Muhammad nearly always say, peace be upon him. Because that's what Muslims would say about their Prophet and about others who have passed. Peace be upon him. You could say it's the Arabic equivalent of God rest them, which isn't too far off. Another example I can give in terms of death is my master, whom we'll refer to as Viking. He wasn't a Christian, if anything he was atheist, but if he had to choose a deity, I'm pretty sure he'd be choosing the Aesir, the Norse gods. So whenever I refer to him, I generally say afterwards, Glory be his at Ragnarok. That does not in a can of worms about whether technically owning another person's jigsaw at the time of passing counts as holding a weapon at the time of death. So would he be going to Valhalla? That is a real debate and something I will be discussing in a, in a big video at some point. I just need the time to do some research about it. I don't even know if that's the correct use of the salutation. I don't know if it would be Odin rest him, Thor take him, or anything like that, or Valkyries take him, even. Or maybe be spared from hell. But at the end of the day, I keep imagining him looking down every time I say that and just laughing. He was a man of a great sense of humour. Would using our own salutation for people be considered pushing our culture, pushing our beliefs? I suppose.